Okay, in this class we are going to look at the logic of superstition. And people usually think that superstitions are illogical. But they forget that every superstition actually originated with some logical reasoning long ago and the reasoning is, is forgotten and the ritual remains. So what is this? This is a lemon with chilies. It's hanging. And it's supposed to ward off evil. So one thing to remember is that like a couple of hundred years back there was no chemicals and this was a really strong chili. The smell of chili probably got rid of insects. And lemon had a good smell. So and the next one is why must one not walk under a ladder? It's obvious. It's just to prevent accidents. Imagine this guy dropping something and you'll get hurt. Let's look at the next one. Why is Friday the 13th considered bad luck? In this case, you'd look back historically. There are like 13 people in some lunch, and that's where the number comes up. And beyond that, you'd look it up. I don't know the answer. Why? Why do mirror breaking a mirror bring seven years of bad luck? Okay, this is slightly harder, but again, you'd look back in time. Mirrors are very common now, but 100 years back, mirrors were really expensive and only kings could afford mirrors. Glass was expensive and it had to be coated with silver or mercury. And if you broke one, it really was so expensive that you could probably didn't buy one for 7 years. And why are black cats are trouble? Maybe they'll get chased around or something? We don't know. You need to find out. If you have a black cat, you'll probably know. And why do people say God bless you when you sneeze? Okay, that seems strange, but remember that medicines are only 100 years old or 50 years old, antibiotics. And a couple of hundred years back, if you got sick and you went to hospital, there's a 90% chance that you'll not come back. And there was a plague going around Europe, which killed 75% uh, of the European population from the plague. And, it, and the first sign of plague was sneezing. And people didn't really know what caused sickness and they just had to, whatever you don't know, you attribute to God. And they would say, God bless you, hoping that you don't have the plague. And if you had a plague, you would die. Okay, then there are many examples of superstition that you can actually think about and figure out. So I won't give you all answers, but you need to think about this and think of the reason. And to look back at a time or a place where it made sense, but in the modern times it doesn't make sense. Do not go out during solar eclipse. This is a hard one. Uh, people not as go out. But if you look at it, you can get blinded because of the ultraviolet lights which are invisible and they get into your eyes. But you can't see the sunlight. sunlight. So you actually look at the sun. Don't cut your nails at night. So remember, nail cutters were only recent invention. And most people use blades and stuff to cut their nails. And at night, there are no electric lights. So possibly cut your finger or something. And do not open an umbrella inside the house. This is a no-brainer. In this case, if you open an umbrella, they have like la long spokes and you probably hurt somebody. So it's just common sense not to open a dangerous stuff inside the house. Do not sit under a tree at night. Again, in this case, we actually have lived in a wild forest with no, and no pesticides and stuff. Trees are full of all kinds of insects and they keep dropping from the, from the tree at night. Especially the big ones, insects. So it's better not to go. And snakes and things come out at nightfall. Okay, knocked on wood for safety. This is a difficult one. It's not there in India, it's probably there in Europe. Is that uh, people used to think that uh, demons live inside wood. And then you really, everything that you understand, you, you actually attribute to gods and demons. And you just call on to the demon or god for help. And boiling milk. Obviously, if you boil milk and let it overflow, it's a, it's a just bad habit. So, you just made it a superstition. Salt. What about salt? Salt used to be really expensive and it was only preservative for food before refrigerators. The Roman army got paid in salt. And people didn't waste salt like they do now. So, if you had salt, it was expensive and you didn't waste it. You did treat it really carefully. Fire. Okay, what about it? And which of these are superstition? Lucky seven. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And finding a three-leaf clover is lucky. 
and a black cat walking with open umbrella under a ladder why is that unlucky or dangerous and a horseshoe why is horseshoe considered lucky mainly because maybe horseshoes were common easy to get lost and then we don't know it now because we don't have horseshoes but maybe 100 years back horse, horses kept losing their shoes and then they had to be replaced and what about rabbit's foot again i don't know and only if you live in olden days you would know spilling salt is considered bad luck because it was expensive and a wolf howling at the moon was it bad luck you don't know maybe there's a reason maybe on full moon nights the, the wild animals came around and the wolf would howl when there were some dangerous animal came around so you would actually have to live in a forest to know the significance of a lot of these superstition and then why would you not if you step on a crack on a sidewalk it was considered unlucky your mother's back would break why would that be the case and it, uh, unlike nowadays the roads in olden days were really bad and then they were like uneven and if you didn't look down and walk carefully you could actually trip and fall and then there would be no ambulance to take you anywhere so it's better to look down and walk so in this picture how many superstitions can you find so we'll look at a few of them there's umbrella open is walking under a ladder there's a black cat this friday the 13 a broken mirror the salt spilled on the table there are crows outside the thing and there's a hat on the bed well that's a new one and let's look at sub personal superstition so people have made a superstition like this lottery ticket with ending number 777 is lucky where did that come from i feel in the exams because of my red shirt why is that in this case you can probably reason that like people are not willing to take responsibility for their actions and they blame it on something that is co- correlated you just happen to have a shirt and say okay it's not my fault it's the shirt's fault and that's a common human feeling to put the blame on something else and not accept able to see things as they are because it involves hurting your ego knowing that you didn't work okay now you can list some of your own superstition and explain why they exist and usually if you look carefully you'll find a reason for everything so to summarize most of the superstitions are historical they had some ancient custom or disease like the black plague causing it there's some embarrassment or safety reasons for having it and why do people make it up because they are unable to live with certainty you can't say okay i don't know why the plague is caused let's blame it on somebody and if you don't know something you just blame it on either a god or a demon or something and then get on with your life because living with un- unknown is much more difficult than accepting uh, putting the blame on something and then people are unable to accept responsibility for their actions they blame it on a superstition third one is correlation is not cause what that means is two things happening together doesn't mean that one is a cause one is a effect so people end up sometimes correlating stuff just because they happen at the same time and then the other reason is bad logic people are bad at reasoning and missing information they don't know something they'll add up the information or rumors when information travels they gets mixed up and it becomes rumors and then it stays around for a long time especially when there are no newspapers or internet not that internet has made uh, information any clearer people are still used to having rumors and bad logic around okay that's about for supposition